going to swing round to clockwise. The research that we are doing is with uh, BRUVs or stereo BRUVs. So a BRUV is a Beta Remote Underwater Video System and a stereo BRUV is a video system with two cameras that allows you to measure the size of the fish. Um, and basically it's a piece of equipment that you put on the sea floor. It has two cameras that are calibrated um, looking at a piece of bait and the bait draws the fish in and then you can later analyze the videos and get measures of diversity, abundance and size. And this can all feed into spatial management, uh, looking into the effectiveness of, of protected areas and uh, fisheries impacts. Uh, it's been very challenging working here. Uh, we're not used to, to working in such steep uh, bathymetry environments. It basically goes at all the islands we visited so far, from about 10 meters, it drops to 150 meters depth uh, in, in, on a wall, really. So it's been quite a challenging work environment, uh, but we, we're slowly getting there and figuring things out. Um, we've been seeing quite a few nice sharks. We haven't been seeing too many big fish, uh, so that's been a bit surprising. But I think as we move further south to the more isolated islands, we should be seeing uh, more sharks and, and more fish, more, more adult fish. Cool, so what's really cool about the stereobrubs is that they um, can be deployed at a range of depths, so we can start to see what's happening underwater, which in areas which is usually which are usually quite inaccessible or difficult to work in. So when the brubs are at the bottom of the seafloor, we can see what's happening with the habitat, what type of habitat um, we are working with, um, and the general condition of the of the benthic habitat, but then more importantly, uh, the stereobrubs are used to assess the demersal fish community. So we can get an estimate um, or a, an idea of what types of fish species we are seeing, so the community composition. Then we can also look at the relative abundance of the fish species and compare it to different areas. And then more importantly with the stereobrubs, we can um, very accurately measure the length of the fish. So we can get an indicator of fish biomass, which is really important to um, assess the health of our reefs. So this is used basically to identify or determine the impacts that we're having on our reefs so that we can better manage them um, for reef conservation and just to understand the drivers of change. So um, we also collect some environmental variables like temperature and depth and light and, and habitat type. And just trying to really understand the ecological um, drivers and um, yeah, the impacts that we're having on our reefs. Yeah, it turned out very nicely actually. Um, we tried a new approach to get it to land on the wall and it seemed to work, it's landed upright. So we have a good sample here. Uh, looking forward to seeing what the rest of it looks like and, and what, the, what it looks like on a big screen.
One tiny empty pot. There was not even any bait left. I think some little critters got stuck into it.